This question was asked in one of the recent Walmart front-end interview. So in this question, what you have to do is you have to basically predict what would get printed onto the console. So in this case, what we have is we have a run promises function, which is an async function. And we know that async function also returns the promise. Now inside the run promises function, what we are doing is we are doing promise.all for two promises. That is promise one and promise two. And both the promises are the resolved promises. So that means this whole promise returned by the promise.all will also get resolved with the value of each of the promises right in here. So now in the second line, what we have is we have promise.all for promise three and promise four. And we can see right in here, promise three is a rejected promise. So in case of promise.all, if any of the promise get rejected, then the whole promise written by the promise.all also get rejected with the reason of the rejected promise. So in this case, when the run promises get ex executed, so this will be executed successfully, this would be rejected and the whole promise written by the run promises will also get rejected and we will end up inside the catch block. So the value of the error in this case would be the reason with which the promise three has rejected. So in this case, the error value would be third and hence third would be printed onto the console. So if we execute this, we can see we are getting the third printed onto the console.